Hey guys, it's Rory and today I've got another uh, Kerbal Space Program video. This one I'm actually just going to be talking about the news, things that have happened about Kerbal Space Program while I was gone because you may have noticed I haven't put up a video in a couple of weeks or a week and a bit and uh, that's because I've been moving to France and I'll talk a bit about the implications of that a little bit later on in the video. They're all good though so you know it's not a bad thing in any way and uh, yeah basically um, Point 25, uh, a lot of information has come out about Point 25, so I'm going to tell you guys all of the stuff that we've heard so far, or at least briefly go over the stuff that we've heard so far. So you may have heard um, on the Kerbal Space Program, sort of Reddit or through Twitter or that kind of thing, that there's going to be some new parts in the next update, and those are going to be uh, focused on space plane building. And they're actually um, basically implementing parts from a mod, and the mod is called Spaceplane Plus, which brings in these parts. Now I'll just show you all the parts. There's a couple of cockpits, a uh, drone core, which means, you know, it's like a um, drone like that. Then there's also fuel tanks, a bicoupler, there's, and they look really, really nice. They're a lot nicer detail than the stock ones. A longer adapter, and liquid fuel and oxidizer fuel tanks as well, so you can make SSTOs with them. Um, without using any other tanks. And then um, there's also some, uh, the, the coolest part is probably the uh, cargo bays. So there's actually working cargo bays and it's pretty much confirmed that they're going to be in the start game. So that's something to look forward to. They have also kind of hinted at um, a rework of the Mark III parts as well. So those are the slightly bigger ones. Uh, I'll see if I can find one of those to show you what I mean. Uh, I think they're here. Yeah, this is a Mark III part, so they're like the taller ones, the sort of space shuttle looking ones. Um, they've hinted at a rework on those, but I don't know if that'll necessarily include cargo bays or anything like that. Hopefully they'll look a bit nicer and hopefully they'll have an IVA in the cockpit, uh, an inside view. There are a couple of other parts as well. We've got some air intake. So we've got this air intake, which is kind of like the RAM intake, but it looks a lot nicer and also the structural intake which um, you know is a kind of radio mounted intake that looks quite a bit nicer and then we've got some wings you know all sorts of different types of wings delta wings um, small delta wings we've got control surfaces uh, all that kind of thing is included in um, in the space plane plus mod so you know we're gonna have a pretty good update for space plane builders because I really like space planes So I'm lo really looking forward to this. There's also a uh, docking port that opens up and a crew cabin as well So you can take crew into orbit with an SSTO and uh, yeah, that'll be fun Anyway, that's all they've kind of confirmed for parts There might be as I said some mark three parts that might be happening There might be a few other parts as well, but the other big change is actually going to be to career mode. They're adding um a system, they haven't explained too much about this yet, but they're adding a system where you can uh, exchange science for money, money for science, reputation for money, um, science for reputation, that kind of thing. You can exchange, exchange all the resources, not 100% efficiently probably, but you know you can exchange them. So although money maybe isn't quite worth very much at the moment because career mode isn't finished, it might mean that, you know, if you end up with lots of money because you don't waste all your money building rockets that just explode on the launch pad, <clears throat> uh, then you might actually benefit in terms of science because you can put more money into researching um, science things to get more, uh, you know, to be able to then unlock more parts, things like that. And you may also be able to spend money on, let's say, building up your reputation, you know, advertising, that kind of thing. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's pretty much all that's kind of been confirmed for the update. There's a couple of other things that have been hinted at, but we'll see where that goes in the future. Uh, keep your eye out, uh, keep your eyes peeled on the Kerbal Space Program subreddit because pretty much everything gets put there. Um, so yeah, and I hang out a lot there as well. That's where I kind of see most of the stuff that's happening. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it for the features and things that we kind of know about at the moment. Um, I may have missed a couple of things out, but yeah. Um, now I'm going to say, I'm uh, going to talk about the whole moving to France thing. Uh, I have kind of mentioned it in a couple of videos previously, so any of you who've watched all of my videos or anything uh, will probably know that I'm moving or that I was in the process of moving. Uh, well, now I'm actually here. I'm in a sort of longer term rental, two or th uh, sorry, three or four months I'll be here for, maybe three months. 
and uh, that's going to be where I'm staying until then. Um, and it's better than at home, uh, not home in Scotland, because uh, I'm going to be spending less time at school because the schools actually don't require you to stay all day for the lesson, and the school is like ten minutes down the road, so I could, and uh, so I'll be able to cycle back. So I'm not like spending um, all day at school all the time either, which is kind of nice. So I might have a bit more time to make videos and things. Uh, and the other good thing about here is that the upload speed of the internet is two to three times as fast, which means that I can live stream, uh, at least in Kerbal Space Program, I can live stream in 720p, which is, uh, you know, quite a nice thing to be able to do. Uh, it means that, you know, I might actually get a few more viewers because people don't get put off by the lack of quality in the video. Uh, maybe the internet wouldn't hold up streaming 720p in a more in, sort of more fast motion game. So when there's a lot of motion on the screen, because it, it sometimes, you know, looks a bit less sharp. But, uh, you know, at least in Kerbal Space Program, it's really actually quite nice to watch as long as I'm not just intentionally moving the camera about a lot. Um, so yeah, it works absolutely fine in that sense. And uh, so I hope to see you guys around my Twitch channel as well, twitch.tv slash Um There's a link on my YouTube channel, at the sort of on the banner bit at the top, at the bottom right of that, if you want to go and head over there and follow me on Twitch, because then you'll get like a notification on your email or whatever whenever I go live. And if you follow me on Twitter as well, you get notifications on Twitter whenever I go live. So you can do that as well, and that's also linked on my YouTube channel. Anyway, uh, now you know I've kind of finished all the plugging of my various social media sites. I will go and uh, probably make some Kerbal Space Program hardcore videos because I've kind of missed that a bit. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope the video helped. Hope you learned something, and have a nice day.